Welcome to part two of the UI design trends for 2022. Let's begin. I'm gonna start with the first one, which is gonna be animation. Now animation, of course, is nothing new and we have seen animation in user interfaces for years now, but there is a couple of factors that will influence animations for the years to come and that they can actually make those animations look a lot better. The first thing is that the devices that we use are getting more and more powerful, which allows us for more powerful use of animation. We can mask videos using SVG shapes, sometimes even animate those masks themselves, use 3D animation and a lot more. And all of that can be rendered real time on phones and computers. Let's combine that with the increasing fidelity of the displays that we're using, because right now they're getting higher and higher refresh rates. 60 Hertz is becoming the new standard and 120 and higher are gaining popularity as well. That means that the animations are a lot smoother and they simply look more natural. There are examples of that all over the web, including parallax scrolling, which with higher refresh rate can look even better, especially with like very small differences between the layers. And also it's all about moving small details in the project, which can make the interface truly shine. Here is a couple animations and transitions that we added to our own website. Neon glowing colors. This cyber neo holographic trend fits pretty well into the metaverses, VRs, and ARs. It's futuristic and it's fresh and it's vibrant. Designers are getting inspired by all the new possibilities that the VR worlds have to offer. And right now we're translating them to flat screens mostly, but time will come when we'll be able to use those elements in our own virtual user experiences. The main characteristics are vibrant glowing color, rounded shapes and holographic looking texture. It's also widely used in the crypto space I think that's because they want to show how futuristic those interfaces are and this is our idea of the future from the 90s. Cardboard style. Consumers are getting a lot more eco-conscious right now. They're trying to choose products done from recycled materials, they recycle themselves, and whenever they can, they try to buy things natural. That includes food, of course, but also things like shampoos or deodorants. The less weird chemicals they have, the better. The more natural, the better. And it looks like you can actually incorporate some of that eco look into your user interfaces. We're seeing more and more brands adopt this style with a semi-cardboard backgrounds and and simple minimal websites on top of that. That added cardboard texture that can come in many different colors is adding this little natural vibe to everything. In most cases, it's just a simple noise texture added on top of a subtle gradient. And often that's it. Typography is usually pretty minimal. Colors are a little bit dimmed or a little bit more pastel. As for decorations, there is no fluffy 3D in this style. Instead, we go for photography and the more natural, the better. So avoid stock photos real life textures and doodles. Wild typography. Typography rules were far more strict when I was starting my design career. Now we can play around with this and experiment and break many of the rules that I was told never to break. Especially with larger fonts and headers, you can do a lot of different things right now. You can mix fonts with photos, textures, emojis, you can put overlays on top of them, and you can be a lot less strict when it comes to the grid, especially for those bigger fonts. It can be interesting, but when your design becomes unreadable, it's mostly gonna be irritating, not really groundbreaking. So don't go too far, but be sure to experiment with typography a little bit. One good example is replacing some of the letters with emojis. This is something many people do right now. It's pretty simple and it's really hard to do it wrong. VR and metaverse. Virtual reality has gone from bulky, low fidelity and super heavy headsets onto the mainstream. While we're not completely there technologically, we're getting there and we're getting there fast. Metaverse is going to be a virtual universe that people can live in. And while the idea is pretty romantic and sounds nice as a Web3 platform, that belongs to the people, in reality, I think it's gonna be controlled by the big corporations and the big players. So it's not gonna be as romantic, it's just gonna be an evolution of the current internet. The Apple glasses are still unannounced, but I believe that the future will be a mix of both VR and AR with holographic 3D shapes in front of our eyes that are a little bit transparent so we can have a sense of what's around us. Cause we don't really want to bump into walls, right? 
For now, the processing power of most of those portable VR headsets is pretty low, so we're stuck with fluffy 3D imagery and it's not really that realistic yet, but we'll get there. There are already some attempts to bring these 3D worlds into the 2D space, because of the lack of the hardware, we're trying to implement some of these things on typical apps and websites. The future is going to be quite exciting. Let me know which trend is your favorite in the comments down below. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to check my latest video on Claymorphism and the included tutorial on how you can do that in Figma. Have a great day. Cheers. Uh -huh.